Starting from the first day of October in the year 2025, the $7,500 electric vehicle tax credit will be completely removed. Alongside this, the $4,000 tax benefit for used electric vehicles will also disappear. Without these important incentives, sales of luxury electric vehicles might take a noticeable dip and automakers could face growing vehicle stockpiles. This could naturally push consumer interest toward more affordable standalone auctions. Among these, one model is capturing significant attention, the highly awaited Tesla Model 2. With a projected price tag of $17,579, this compact electric vehicle was recently seen at Tesla's Fremont facility. It is approximately 15 centimeters shorter than the Model Y and showcases a sleek, futuristic look that feels similar in style to the Cybertruck. But is it truly worth the anticipation? Let's take a closer look at what Tesla's Model 2 actually appears to be. An aerial image taken from Tesla's Fremont test track shows two crossover-style cars driving side-by-side. Side. This visual already hints at just how far Tesla might be moving away from its well-known Model Y blueprint. The unmasked car on the upper side is easily identified as a current production Model Y. Its stance, deep black paint, and panoramic glass roof echo the design traits it has carried since its debut in 2020. Just beneath it is a heavily disguised test vehicle. Despite being covered, its shape tells a different story. When you compare it to the known size of the Model Y, which is about 4.75 meters in length with a wheelbase of 2.89 meters, the new prototype clearly appears more compact. If we use the distance between the B-pillar and the rear bumper as a reference, the test car seems to shave off about 10 to 15 centimeters of length resulting in a total body closer to 4.6 meters. Its wheelbase also seems reduced, as seen in the shorter gap between the front doors and the front axle. This design pushes the cabin forward relative to the overall shape. Though these changes might seem small on paper, they are very noticeable in person. The result is a more agile, hatchback-like figure that should allow for a tighter turning radius and make parking in crowded cities easier. From the side, the contrast becomes even more visible. The Model Y has a longer glass section that stretches backward, complete with a triangular rear quarter window behind the rear pillar, which helps with headroom for rear passengers. That feature is completely missing in the prototype. This hints at a more budget-friendly design similar to how the Cybertruck has a scaled-down, cost-effective variant. The new model's roof arcs down sooner and finishes in a short, compact rear end with very little space beyond the rear wheels. This fastback style reduces some of the cabin's spacious feel but improves aerodynamics, which is crucial for making a low-cost electric vehicle go farther on a single charge. The roof also gives away some clues. While the Model Y has a single, seamless glass top, the prototype uses a solid metal roof. This material is simpler to stamp and seal and avoids the extra costs and heat retention that come with a full-length glass roof. Both the front and rear ends of the prototype are covered up. But that concealment is telling in itself. Tesla usually hides only those areas undergoing major redesigns. Here, both ends are hidden, likely indicating a brand new lighting layout. It is quite possible that this new car might use slim, continuous light bars similar to the ones we saw on the Cybertruck and the updated Model 3 Highland. This could also make it the first vehicle to truly showcase Tesla's third-generation vehicle platform. That includes a skateboard-style chassis, larger front and rear mega castings, simplified wiring, and structural battery packs. These changes are not just for looks. They reduce production time, simplify the number of parts, and support Tesla's ambition to release a vehicle below the $17,000 mark. Additional visible signs, like smaller alloy wheels, thinner tires, and standard steel suspension springs, suggest cost control and reduced weight, both of which help Tesla use lithium iron phosphate batteries and paid. Still offer a reasonable range. Tesla's move to skip the panoramic roof and other luxurious features 
also shows how the company is shifting focus from making status symbols to offering true mass market transportation. You may be wondering when the Tesla Model 2 will finally make its debut. The most likely window appears to be late 2025 or early 2026. Tesla originally stated that production of the next vehicle would begin during the first half of 2025, indicating that groundwork might already be laid. But Tesla could be holding back the official reveal until the federal electric vehicle tax credits are no longer in play. That strategy would make sense. Launching a low-cost Model 2 early might distract from the higher-end models that still benefit from the federal tax benefits. So Tesla could be using this final phase before the incentive expires to boost sales of its premium lineup. Hold on a second! Before we dive deeper, welcome to Amp Drive Your Hub for all things Tesla and the future of electric tech. We're still a small but growing crew with fewer than 1,000 subscribers, so if you love EVs and cutting-edge battery news, hit that subscribe button and join us early on this journey. As for the Model 2's expected release, it may be held until late this year. Like with many Tesla decisions, the launch date seems tied more to the broader economic environment than factory readiness. But Tesla appears to be adapting its production roadmap accordingly. Production in the United States is expected to begin at the Texas Gigafactory by the end of 2025. First customer deliveries could arrive by April 2026. Europe's turn will come next, with Berlin Brandenburg Gigafactory expected to begin production in early 2026. In China, another major Tesla market, local manufacturing could begin as soon as the end of 2025, likely in the Shanghai facility. Deliveries would follow in 2026. Even India is on Tesla's radar. Some early steps toward regulatory clearance are already in motion, although production and delivery in India will likely happen later than the core regions. This staggered release across global markets reflects Tesla's logistical challenges and a desire to optimize production according to each region's policies and capabilities. The strategy reflects Tesla's growing awareness of consumer pressures. Inflation, higher interest rates, and shrinking disposable income all create stronger demand for a truly affordable electric vehicle. Tesla seems to be balancing the desire to meet that demand with the risk of undercutting its more expensive cars too soon. The company wants to time the Model 2's introduction in a way that supports its entire lineup. When it comes to performance, the Model 2 offers quite a lot considering its size and price. Signings at Tesla's Fremont facility show a car with a shorter wheelbase and reduced overhangs, which should help reduce its total weight to below 1,600 kilograms. Thanks to this lighter build, Tesla can rely on just one rear permanent magnet motor and still claim excellent performance. Internal modeling from April 2025 suggests output near 180 kilowatts. That would allow acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.2 seconds. If Tesla adds a small induction motor in the front, that could drop acceleration to under 4.5 seconds. Top speed will be limited on purpose, about 120 miles per hour. That is more than fast enough for most real-world driving while helping save battery and avoid using premium high-speed tires. Tesla's new design focuses on making every kilowatt-hour count. The Model 2's sleek front, low fastback roof, sealed underbody, and tight panel gaps all aim to reach a drag coefficient around 0.23. At 70 miles per hour, the car should use only 11 kilowatts of power. This level of efficiency means the long-range version can travel up to 300 miles on highways between charges. For urban users, energy efficiency reaches around 6.5 km per kilowatt hour. Underneath the floor, Tesla is using prismatic lithium iron phosphate battery cells inside the newer 4680 style housing. These cells offer about 180 watt hours per kilogram and are completely cobalt free. The battery architecture runs at 438 volts and is compatible with Tesla's latest generation of superchargers. The updated superchargers can deliver up to 325 kilowatts, letting the Model 2 charge from 10% to 80% in just 18 minutes. A 10-minute stop could add nearly 180 miles of range. 
Even home charging with the Tesla wall unit can deliver 30 miles of range per hour, so overnight charging should be more than enough for most commutes. More exciting still, Tesla is introducing Grok into the equation. Grok is an advanced voice assistant developed by XAI, positioned to compete with systems like ChatGPT and Gemini. Some Tesla fans have already discovered early signs of this feature within Tesla's software. It will require a premium connectivity plan and will link to your Tesla account. Users will notice a dedicated Grok icon, a QR code, login options, adjustable settings, family-friendly filters, and even voice options such as Aura, Rex, and Gork. Grok's potential goes far beyond entertainment. It might soon allow drivers to control various car functions through natural voice commands. Imagine telling your car to skip toll roads and it automatically adjusts the route. That level of integration could transform how drivers interact with their vehicles entirely. And speaking of intelligence, Tesla's upcoming AI5 hardware is expected to power vehicles built after December 2025. This platform promises 10 times the computing performance of Hardware 4, all while drawing about 100 watts. The full self-driving beta version 12 runs its camera-only system at 60 frames per second, thanks to an 8-camera setup and, for the first time, a discrete rooftop edge, Lie DAR. The AI system learns from every drive. Compressed footage uploads to Tesla's Dojo supercomputer overnight, and updates are pushed back by morning, making the car smarter every day. A single 12-inch OLED display with a 120Hz refresh rate serves as the dashboard centerpiece. This screen shares graphics power with the AI chip, allowing smooth movement of maps, settings, and climate controls. Voice commands will travel over 5G to Tesla's cloud-based language model. Over-the-air updates can even adjust how the car drives or refresh display visuals without stepping foot into a service center. The heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system will reuse warmth from the motor and battery to reduce energy loss in cold weather. Acoustic glass ensures a peaceful ride at higher speeds. Structural decisions help speed two front and rear mega castings bonded to the battery pack cut over one-third of the welds needed on a Model Y. This creates a flat floor for cargo once the rear seats are ducula folded. Though the front trunk may be small at 60 liters, the total cargo space exceeds 1,400 liters, enough to carry two bicycles. Safety features include eight airbags, emergency steering at speeds up to 140 km per hour, and Tesla aims for a 5-star Euro NCAP rating. Rear seat comfort is also improved, with slightly elevated theater-style seating made possible by the thinner battery. To summarize, the Tesla Model 2 prioritizes real-world usefulness over headline-grabbing numbers. Its speed matters not just in acceleration, but in charging time, learning curve, and how quickly it fits into daily life. If Tesla can stick to its updated 2026 schedule, the familiar Model Y may soon feel like a heavier, slower alternative clear proof that true progress is not just measured in seconds, but in quote, seamless integration with everyday routines. Some skeptics call this new prototype just a cheaper Model Y. But there is a lot of evidence pointing to a totally new vehicle, the one Tesla internally calls Redwood. Supplier timelines match up with the Fremont test car. Reuters reported that Tesla instructed suppliers to prepare for Redwood pilot builds by mid-2025. That fits perfectly with the current test wheel timeline. And a facelifted Model Y would already be seen in showrooms, not driving around a closed track in disguise. Other proof comes from the car's architecture. Patents filed with the World Intellectual Property Organization show how major sections of the car, like the front structure and rear crash modules, are mounted directly onto the battery pack. This unique assembly method leaves a visible seam beneath the doors, which is clearly seen in the test vehicle footage. You cannot add such a deep casting seam on a facelift. Only a brand new vehicle platform would require it. And on top of that, Tesla's shift to 48-volt systems demands a completely new wiring layout. While Cybertruck can use it due to volume production, 
the Model Y is too deeply rooted in 12-volt tooling. This new harness setup to not be retrofitted into a facelift. Also, the sensors seen on the prototype do not match Tesla's current hardware. 4. Instead, they align with leaked hardware, 5 specs including roof-mounted radar and thermal imaging. Tesla has never introduced a new computer to an old model. And lastly, the powertrain and battery setup match the target for a vehicle priced near $25,000, which Reuters also reported. The Model Y's older battery modules cannot meet crash safety rules if swapped for a structural 4680 pack. But the test car's ride height matches the new, thinner pack, proving it is not just a rebadged Model Y. And if all of that is not enough, Tesla's habit of leaving facelifts uncovered long before release is the final clue. Both the Model 3 Highland and Cybertruck Betas were seen on public roads without camo. But this car is completely hidden, especially in the spots where Tesla's new patents focus. That kind of secrecy is only needed for brand new parts and intellectual property protection. So, what do you think? Is Tesla wise to wait until after the electric vehicle tax credits vanish before launching the Model 2? Or is this a missed shot at taking over the affordable EV segment earlier? Let us know what you believe in the comments. Thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown and want to explore more exciting updates about Tesla vehicles, Tesla bots, and the world of future mobility, be sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe to AmpDrive for more Kai Teen. Cutting edge content. See you in the next one.